Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. I'm Tammy at Tam's Creative Corner and I'm working on a really cool Dutch pour for you. It's using some Arteza paints and I'm going to use the Pavio Crystal Bio Resin again to give it that clear coat and of course a little bit of sparkle because you can't go wrong with that. So stay tuned for that. You can see behind me I've got some seascapes in the works and what I really want to say today to you is thank you so, so much. We are so close to having 10,000 subscribers and I'm going to do a giveaway. So share the videos with all your friends and hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you enjoy my videos and tutorials. I really, really appreciate you all so much. I love getting all of the comments and I try to respond to every one of them. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing and my techniques, then feel free to drop those in the comments below. In the meantime, let's get started on this little Dutch pour. Today I'm using Arteza's Acrylic Premium Paints. It's a set of 60, and the box is just like an endless amount of color and joy. I love these sets of paints because it doesn't take a whole lot when you're doing your acrylic pours and so you've got a lot of variety to choose from. And so I'm picking out the colors I want to use for this Dutch pour. And by the way, there's a coupon below for a limited time at um, their website. So I'll provide those links below. And yes, I am an affiliate for Arteza, but I don't put anything on here that I don't love and use myself. So if you'd like to get yourself a set, then take advantage of that discount code below. So I'm taping off the back with my general purpose scotched masking tape and then I'm just burnishing or rubbing it down to create a seal and trimming off the edges before I move on. This is a 10 by 10 birch cradle board. I have sealed it with wood sealer and then I've painted it with acrylic paint. Don't forget to level your board. You don't want your paint all to slide off. And what I'm adding here is that flow trawl. It's a paint additive. It helps give it a longer lasting time and makes it more fluid. And really depends on the paint that you're using, how much paint you add to your flow trawl. It's usually more flow trawl than anything else. And these Arteza paints are so vivid that they don't lose the vibrancy when you mix them, like some of the other paints that I use. So I don't need to use as much paint. And once I get the flow trawl and paint mixed together really good, then I'll add water to get it to the consistency that I want. It's really tough to give you an exact ratio of flow to raw paint and water because all paints are different and the densities of paints are different per color. So I just add a little bit of water till I get it the consistency I'd like. For example, metallics tend to be a little bit heavier as do whites. So you just have to kind of do some trial and error and experiment. You can get to where you get your ratios down by measuring and experimenting. I'm just too impatient and I want to get moving, so I just kind of wing it. And this is the same combination. It is Arteza's titanium white mixed with Floetrol and water. And then I pour it over my board to give it that base coat popping all of those bubbles that have occurred with my little culinary torch and I thought I would do a different pattern than I normally do. Normally I go across the board diagonally and this time I thought I would just layer my colors in the middle and so there's no rhyme or reason I just try to decide which colors I think would look best blended next to each other and then I just go from there and experiment right along with the rest of you.
Now that I have all six of my colors piled up there in the middle, I go ahead and I take some more of my white mixture and I pour it around the rim of the colors. Then I drizzle a little bit over the center and begin blowing it out with my little travel sized hair dryer. So what you want to do is you want to blow the white over the color paint because as I mentioned before, white is heavier so as it settles it'll create those cells and lacing and cool effects that you find. Well that's the way I've understood it to work anyway so I'm no genius at this but that's what seems to work and happen and so that's what I'm going with. Now I'm taking a Sunday sized straw and I'm just trying to blow out and see if I can reveal any of that color that's underneath the white. Because I'm not able to reveal a whole lot of color underneath, I just go ahead and pour some more paint on and see what I can remedy here. And so don't be afraid to just keep adding paint and pouring and moving your paint around. Add in more white if you want more white negative space. The point is, is just have fun and play and let the colors just kind of happen. Because I know that I'm going to add sparkle and resin, that's also something that's running through my mind when I'm creating these pieces. I'm not looking at it as a finished product at this point. I'm actually looking at the potential it could be. So keep that in mind too. So once I have it compositionally the way I want it, I let it dry. And when it's completely dry, I go ahead and I start to add my favorite glitter glue by Stickles. It's a Ranger product. And give it a little bit of accent glitter. And once that is completely dry, I move on and add that lustrous resin top coat. And today I'm using Pabio. It's a crystal bio resin. And it's a 2 to 1 mixing ratio, which is why these TCP ratio measuring cups are amazing. Takes the brain damage out of figuring out how much to pour. And I mix that up really good for about 5 minutes before pouring it over my board. I like to coat my entire top and I also like to run my hands along the sides and cover those with resin too just to seal in the paint. And once I'm done spreading it out, I take my little culinary torch and release all those bubbles and then cover it up and let it cure. And here is the finished product. You can see how that resin just helps all those colors pop out and that glitter really sparkles. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I appreciate you all so much. Have a great day and happy creating.